two matches away and I thought he put on a, a very good show so uh, don't uh, worry too much about Aston he lost against the Ukraine and the Kazakhstan two of the biggest teams in the WSB two of the most successful teams in the WSB and Aston Brown put on a brave performance there only just no, lost to the Kazakh and Ukrainian boxers good boxing so, Aston Brown, the Scottish boxer for the British Lionhearts uh, in the red shorts. Conrad Cummings in the green, white and red striped shorts for the Mexico Guerreros. Second up, Both these boxers keen to make their mark here. As you can see, Conrad Cummings eager to get right into the action here. He'll want to mix it quickly. And uh, Aston Brown just needs to use his footwork, pick off those jabs and shots and keep the Irishman at bay. Yes, straight away we can see the tempo of the fight. Comrade coming just marching forward, hands up high, trying to trying to hunt his man down. And Aston Brown having to do what he has to do, which is jab and move, not mix it, get on his bike. So it's going to be interesting here. Let's see which fighter can break each other. You know who can break the will of the other fighter. Who is going to be the strongest, the toughest, not just physically but almost psychologically. And of course. Uh, Aston training up at the National Training Centre in Sheffield under the guidance of Robert McCracken. And uh, you can see a few Andrew Selby traits in his style and his uh, work here. And that's uh, not going to do him any harm at all. Glenn, uh, I noticed the pink shoes as well from uh, Aston Brown. Being from the old guard, I'm not so sure you're a fan of those. Well, it's an unusual choice of footwork for sure. But we said he likes, you know, he's quick on his feet. Perhaps he, he feels he can move quicker with these train light boots on. But uh, yeah, unusual. Not for everyone's liking. But obviously, it seems to sit, fit well with him. Well, as far as I'm concerned, he can wear any colour boots as long as he does the business in the ring. And that's what it's all about. And so far, so good. He's picking off uh, Cummings, putting in some good shots. Uh, using just about every inch of that canvas so far in this first round. Good start from Aston Brown. But uh, then, the then again, just getting caught on the on the as you're coming out of the out, out of the out of the clinch, come, just getting caught unnecessarily. Yeah, he's getting the shots off. He boxed him well. Just got to be careful on the retreat. Well, the judges will like. The uh, style and tactic of uh, Cummings, because he's coming forwards all the time. He wants to get at that fight. Box. He's certainly getting more shots off, that's a fact. That's right. That's the only way, to be fair, he can fight this guy. You know, he's the smaller man. He can, uh, and again, we're seeing that dangerous from Cummings. And again. Oh, good counter punches from both boxers there. That's what I'd like to see more of from Cummings. Some fast combinations. Well, for me, so far, the powerful shots, the high scoring shots have come by way of Cummins. Needs a good finish here, just under 15 seconds left on the clock in the first of five rounds. And, uh, good body shots from Conrad Cummings here. Well, a fairly close round, fairly even, but for me, Cummins just done the greater superior work. The eye scoring shots, the power shots, the connected shots for me were coming right away. Coming, yes. Judges agree with you, Glenn. Yep, the judges do agree with you. Yep. And that more aggressive style, you said it, coming forwards, certainly firing off more shots, as uh, given the Irish boxer, part of the Mexican team here tonight, the first round. Well, there's the shoes, love them or hate them. You'll need to be a little quicker with them in this second round. The pressure's on Aston Brown now for the British Lionhearts. Some good work in there, he just needs to fire off oh, more punches. That's right, not to be too negative, he's done some great, great work. He's, do, he's doing what he needs to do, just got to be a bit more, a bit more prominent with that jab, that, that backhand. Got to throw a little bit more Vetman. And a little bit more frequently, I'd like to see him throw his shots. So, the Mexican team take the first round Mexico. of five. Mexico. Here. 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 Aston Brown for the British Lionhearts. 
And some clear instructions from the British corner. Carmel Cummins changing nothing in the tempo, coming forward, marching his man down. Again, good shots from Barry, but nothing really making contact. A lot of that going on the gloves. Just marching, we're trying to draw the counter, Conrad Cummins. Getting up close, getting these body shots off. Good backhand from Ashton Brown. Best shot of the round so far, but a great counter. Finishing up with the head and hook up to the body and the head. Oh, I was just about to say the lead jab was working effectively there for Aston Brown, but Cummings caught him on a counter over the top. No problem whatsoever. And, uh, it's one of the hardest punches that Aston Brown's had to take in this bout so far. Halfway through the second round. Better round for Aston Brown. Let's not forget he's already lost the first. That's a little better with the screw better. shot. Uppercut there from Aston Brown. Just got to get when, when Cummins comes in close, just got to take the shots off. And be careful, as it was then, of the counter. That's it, keep him at range. Careful of those heads coming dangerously close together. Oh, good in work from both boxes here, but uh, Austin Brown decided to stand there and tread. I'm not sure if that's altogether a good move. More lead jab combinations. That's where Aston Brown has been the most successful and put the most points on the board. He's had a better round here with 20 seconds left, That's and he's a good finish in these last 15 now. <laughs> yeah, the strong finish comes from the Mexican. The Irish boxer, Conrad Cummings. Watch your head. An even round for me. That strong finish from, from, from Cummins just, just leveled the, leveled the round up. Up to that point from Ashton Brown for me was winning it, but just finished strong those last 10 seconds. I think it's those last 10 seconds that swung at the Mexico Guerrero's uh, way. Says Cummings now is two up against uh, Ashton Brown. Let's just have a look at some of the action from this second round. Some great body shots and work from both. But Cummings, uh, the counter punching, very effective in the second round there for the Irish boxer. Again, downstairs, upstairs, two body shots, getting inside the guard with the uppercut. And, uh, second I'm sure you'll agree that Conrad Cummings, at this point in this bout, deserves to be two up. Third round. Again. Good stiff jab from Cummins. And this is what you would expect from Aston Brown for that lead jab. Well, he's clearly the more powerful of the two, Conrad Cummings, and he's used that power, almost brute strength, to force his way inside the guard but I have to also note that uh, his counter punching has been a very quick oh, right on target yeah. and again Cummings now starting to get confident just kind of marching his man down now and again switching it from the body to the head
Good shot, good, solid, stiff job. No holding, no holding. You can just see, see the strength of Cummins with just pushing off Ashton Brown with optimal ease at times. And this is the combination that's worked so effectively in the first and second. Two, three shots to the body, then the uppercut. Shot over the top, not quite connecting for Cummings there, but there's that right uppercut. And again from Cummings. Yeah, the fluid, fluidity of his shots. He just cannot seem to keep this man away, Aston Brown. Good, good right hand again, took in that run on, and again getting picked up with the jab. Ashton Brown just simply isn't strong enough, Nick, to, to keep Cummins away. Uh, Conrad Cummings is showing us that he can take a punch as well as give them that. It's almost like a Tommy Hearns Marvin Hagler. <laughs> That's true. So, ladies and gentlemen, our competition to win well, this for me, again, that last. third round He's going to end has uh, end. surely gone to the Conrad round. Cummings. There's the so confirmation. The three, three judges we'll agree. He's a little more aggressive. Combinations are hitting the target on a much more regular basis. And his uh, body shots and then uppercut combinations really have been the calling card of Conrad's uh, bout so far. And he's three up. Two to go. Well, in control. Just a little graze under the eye there for Conrad at Cummings. Round four. It's not quite a cut as yet. But the worrying thing is, for Nick, it's difficult to see what um, Ashton Brown can come out with now. What, what, what can he do differently to change the tempo of this fight? Uh, he's allowed the Irish boxer to dictate the terms. He's allowed the Irish boxer to hunt him down. He's been good on his feet. Look at him working around now, but... Not enough work, not enough punches. Because of the relentless work of Cummings. I mean, he's showing great physical fitness here as well. That's right. I think he's just far too powerful, too, st too strong. And at times, unfortunately for Aston Brown, a little bit too accurate. Don't stand there and trade with him. Get on your bike, pepper that jab. Left, right, left, and move. Left, right, left, and move. Just keep popping it out. Well, if you stand still, to. yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, You're gonna exactly get on cue. Off. Right on cue. Well, this is uh, the best uh, bout that uh, Conrad Cummings has had in his uh, WSB. Career certainly the best we've seen of him this season, and he's got uh, Aston Brown on the ropes and in trouble here. No holding, no holding, no holding. Much stronger hitter, Conrad Cummings. <laughs> Aston Brown has got the answers to this. 
He's uh, sticking with the same tactic that he started with. And he's allowing, as we see clearly here, Conrad Cummings. You can hear the corner shouting, move, Aston, move. Don't stand there and trade. Because the strength and power of the Irish boxer is too much for Aston Brown. Just consistently marching his man down. very focused coming into the round to the start of this bout and he's uh, executed his tactical plan here Conrad Cummings almost perfectly and it looks to me that the fourth round has gone to the Irishman as well boxing for the Mexican team another solid performance from Conrad uh, Cummings and that uh, Aston Brown now starting to look very frustrated and uh, disappointed in the corner. You can see his brain ticking over twice at normal speed and what he can do to stop this guy. That's right. I mean, he must, he must realise now he's a mile behind on the journey forward. I've got him drawing the second, but everything in favour of Conrad uh, 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 for, the, for the remainder of the rounds. He must realise, like I say, he's a mile ahead. He has to do something now pretty drastic. Sometimes you've just got to throw caution to the wind and you've just got to go for it. Yeah, he's taking some big punches here in this fourth round. Aston Brown. So. <laughs> good to see some of the young boxing fans enjoying the action, but uh, unless something quite spectacular happens in this fifth and final round, Mexican Guerreros will level the scores here at the York Hall in this first quarter final. Hold your head. No holding. No holding. No holding. Yeah, he may have the superior hand speed, he may have the superior foot speed, but unfortunately Aston Brown tonight just has not been able to keep this little terrier away in Conrad Cummins. Marching forward for the full duration of the fight, hunting his man down. Just physically too strong, I believe, Nick. Plenty in the tank from uh, Conrad Cummings. There's no signs of him uh, slowing down. The work rate has been uh, consistently high in all five rounds. He looks as fresh in the fifth as he did in the first. left on this uh, second match of the five and uh, I'm sure Conrad Cummings will be pretty happy that this is the fifth and final because his face looks quite badly cut yeah, he's, looking a bit you know, he's, he's took his he's, he's got his lumps and bumps he's took he's took his punches tonight and you can see that you know Ashton Brown has had his success has made the mistake about that but Conrad Cummings certainly had, the, had a lot more Land. Conrad, Irish boxer, is part of the Mexican pro team here. And of course, the rules and regulations say that you have to have a different set of boxes for your home match than your away match. 
So, uh, Conrad delighted to be boxing here at the York Hall. And Conrad Cummings, the Irish boxer out of the Mexican Guerreros, has put the visiting team right back in the game here with uh, a unanimous decision, surely. A very impressive one, too, I have to say, from Conrad Cummings, the 21-year-old uh, Irish middleweight who pulls a point back and levels the scores with three bounds to go. Aston Brown still looking for his first win on the WSB Tour. And uh, Aston now has lost three bouts this season. Conrad Cummings uh, takes his record two to one. That's the best we've seen from Conrad this season so far. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of boxing action, once again we have a unanimous decision. The score totals all the same as in the previous contest, 50 to 45. For your winner, representing Mexico Guerreros, Conrad Cummings. A gallant effort, please. Your appreciation for Aston Brown. Comrade, you're obviously proudly representing Mexico Guerreros tonight, but you hail from Ireland, so I'm presuming you can speak good English, and maybe even a bit of Gaelic, who knows? But uh, it was a good night for yourself. The pattern was set, really, from the first round. Constant pressure. Uh, Aston tried to stay with you, but in the end couldn't. Is that how you saw it? Yeah, um, I say that was only the third fight in WSB, and you're, you're learning every fight, and uh, obviously a lot of pressures. Quarter of the final now, we're fighting now. British Landhorts, excellent team, right through every bit. World, world class operators, but you know, stuck to the plan, kept the pressure on, uh, landed the shots when he could. You know, he's, he's a slick counter puncher, but whenever I threw my shots, I made them count, and one of your own. He was, he's a good opponent. Thank you, Conrad. The equalizing contest for Mexico Guerreros. Well, there aren't one too many, one uh, is the score now. Thank Mexican you. Mexican fans that have travelled over, but the few that have loved every moment of that. Just as uh, Conrad Cummings from uh, Ireland 